video, we're gonna be doing makeup. Before we actually get into this video, I don't do makeup. I never have done makeup. I've never been into makeup. I don't know how to do makeup. But I'm gonna be achieving a makeup look that I found on TikTok. Then we'll put the image right here. I'm gonna edit it. So yeah, I have a bit of makeup in here because my friend gave me makeup like a while back. So I can run it on my own, but never really got into it in way. So hmm. We're gonna start with hydrating primer. Y'all see that? Hydrating primer. I believe this is the base. This is this is supposed to be something you put on your face to keep it like safe before you put all the makeup on. So we're gonna put some of that on. Put up the nose. Okay. Okay, I think I look pretty good. I still need to mix it a little bit more and please don't laugh because I feel like it's gonna be a fail but we're still gonna try and then these are concealers this is Neutrogena and this is CoverGirl I don't know which one's better I'm gonna use this one the CoverGirl because I see CoverGirl all over like makeup things and so that's what we're gonna do I have a concealer brush. I got this from Five and Below or Five Below, whatever you want to call it. And so looking at some of the TikToks, I believe you're supposed to dip it and then like dab it like that. So I'm trying to like get rid of my black spots. Cause like I have like dark circles. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, the idea is to kind of go like that and do. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take this brush and kind of blend it through. I think I'm doing it right. Okay. So I'm kind of like trying to go like this so it looks. Alright. I feel like it's looking off to a good start. Actually, I don't know. I don't do makeup, so like what I might think look good may not actually look good. Okay, and then I think, I think the foundation I'll put over here. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Sorry, y'all, I got a loud family. So I don't know if y'all can hear that. Okay, so this process right here was basically just to speed it up. I have a CoverGirl matte made, and I also have a Maybelline for this. I think this one is kind of more closer to my... Actually, no, I think this one. I don't this one. I think this one is more. And so, from some of the videos that I've seen, ouch, they kind of like did it like dots, and then they blend it out with a sponge. So, I'm going to do... Oh, how should I go about this? Okay. We're going to do the cheeks. Cheeks for sure. Chin. And that big forehead. All right, and I think I want to stop. I think I'm gonna do bottom to top. And so I have two different brushes, or I have this brush and then I have a sponge, but I don't know. I'm doing a little makeup. I don't know how to do it, but this is uh, trying to do a makeup look as someone who don't do makeup. How does it look so far? It looks good. For real? Blend it around your nose right here. Okay. And right here, the nostrils. Like pat it or put more? No, you need to blend it. Look. Here, you can help. There we go. Look, it's just my arm in the camera. <laughs> oh, it looks good though. It do? What makeup is this? It's this. Nice. Make sure to always blend it into your neck because you know you see those girls oh, yeah, whose cut off face is a different white. color than their neck. And then you got it up here too. So make just blend it all. Okay. I always um I'm gonna show you something different. Okay. See, my mom is just always the plug. She always just be helping me out. Cause I don't be knowing what to do. <clears throat> 
after I use my beauty blender, I always go in with this and just even it out. All Cause I have this too, but I don't know what it's for. She gave me just a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't. I think that's more for like cleansing and like. Oh. Um, Hold on, I'm thinking I mean, this is a makeup brush. I mean, you could, but I think it's more for like routines. But yeah. Like just blend it in evenly so that people aren't like, why is her neck a different color than her face? Yeah. Because, you know, people say that. Right. I'm one of them people who points that out. Okay, turn. No, the other way. This is such pretty. This foundation is fabulous. Really? I don't be knowing the difference. It's this one. But I kind of, like, mixed, like, like yeah, certain spots. I like, like it. it. But, yeah, that's this right here. I like it. Was this the one that I was using, too? Yeah. Yes. I put it so it can make it a little darker because I don't know Girl, if this was too light. And then you have on your nose, you have a piece. Oh, you can't see it. It's a, it's peeling. There, I got it. There you go. Thank you. Cute. Okay, so now we're just putting a little bit on here. She's such a help, because, man, I don't be know what to do. I don't be know what to do. Okay. In case you need it, sorry. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I think it looks good now. I think I'm... Okay, honestly. Oh, wait, what is that? Hold on. Most piece of skin. Okay. So, I think it's pretty good now. I think I blended it out all the way. I don't know. But she did say do something with my nose. So, I'm going to just like really pat it. Okay. So, I think my foundation is set. Um, I think I'm going to do my eyebrows now. So, what I've been using on my eyebrows is literally this a edge control brush and i use usually my murray's beeswax to like really slick it because i have like thick eyebrows but today we're just gonna use vaseline just temporarily so i'm gonna put it like this okay It may not look the best because it's not like actually being slick, but you know, something is better than nothing. And then it used to, usually I just brush it up and then I go like that and then bring it down. But it looks a lot better when it's like real slicked on the normal. But I ain't got all that right now. So now that my eyebrows are done and my foundation and concealer looks, I don't know how it looks because I don't know makeup, but I think it looks decent. Um, we're going to use this glare. They call this highlighter. And I heard that they put it on the nose, kind of like right here. And so that's what we're going to do. But I think I'm going to put it on my own and then kind of like, you know, so that's how we're going to do it. I don't know if I trust it though. I think I'm going to just use my finger. Go and like pat it on like that. See, I'm like, and this is by Milani. I got a, just a bunch of makeup for my friend because I told her that I wanted to learn, but like I didn't want to like really pay for a bunch of makeup knowing that I don't do it. I don't know if my highlight is showing. And now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just kind of like brush it a little bit so it looks a little bit more smooth. Oh, it looks goofy. Stop. I'm going to use this sponge. Don't play with me. Oh, I feel like I look like a clown. I look like a clown. Okay. We're just going to use this. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. Right, and then I think I'm gonna put a little bit right here, just a little bit, and then a little on my nose. I feel like I look like Rudolph. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's getting. 
I don't know if it's giving. I don't know if it's giving, but it's beginner. Okay, what's next is, oh, I think that's it, actually. I think now it's just my lip line. So I have this pencil. I have this. I don't know who it's by because I got it from my friend at dance show. But I have this MAC chest, chestnut pencil. And I heard that it's really good. So, hmm. so we just going to try this. Hold on. I don't know how I want to go about this. I wish I had a mirror. Oh, well. Okay, I don't know. I think I got a little bit too much right here. But I think I'll see the vision. All right, so now I'm gonna start with the top. I heard that people do X's, kind of like go like that, and then do the rest. So it's kind of hard to see. I think it's too much right here. So we're gonna wipe a little bit of that away. But I think y'all see the vision. So now, um, I think that's enough. I think now I'm just gonna clean it up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of tissue and I'm gonna kind of like clean it up. That. I'm gonna fight against like the foundation. And then like that, right? Kind of looks goofy, but I think maybe once I add a little bit of like lipstick into it, like the color. So then I've seen shirts where they do a lip line and then they put like a like a lip like a lipstick color and then they blend it and then they put lip gloss. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I have this and then I actually have I have three different options, but this one is a matte, I believe. This is a matte. And this is a lipstick butter gloss. But I think I'm gonna just do this because I don't wanna do matte and it just real confusing. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Kind of blend it out. So y'all see the image, you know? Like there's like a solid color in it, so it's like more bold. And then after that, that's when we go in with the lip gloss, I believe. I don't know. I have a better lip gloss. Um, I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna get it. Okay, so now I got my lip gloss. Um, and we're just gonna put. Okay, I'm gonna put on my. I don't know. Should I put my finger? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then. I love how I was supposed to do a makeup look and didn't even do the look. I kind of just did my own thing. So here we go. This is the look. I mean, like the lip, the lip line, and like the color. So, yeah, I think this is the look. Um, I don't usually do makeup, so this is, like, very, very beginner. But I think it kind of looks natural. I don't know. But if y'all got any tips, definitely let me know because I'll be doing stuff on my makeup. And I could really use the tips, like. So, yeah, thank you. If you like this video, just subscribe. Comment down below any tips because I don't know nothing about makeup. I would love to learn more. And so, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all should check out some of my other ones just for fun because why not? Because I said so. But yeah, so until the next video.